When you were younger, did you enjoy Lego? I know I did. I loved Lego. Okay, now in Lego, um, you've got different blocks. You know, you've got like a red block. Let's just try to draw the little Lego piece of here. Okay. And by the way, you are at the correct place. We are going to be talking about science. I just want to make it nice and easy for you. Okay, this isn't like some like grade two um, Lego building course. Okay, then you get like green Lego blocks maybe. So like that. And let's do a blue Lego block. Okay, so these are called Lego blocks. Okay, um, these are all called Lego blocks. Let's just say Lego, Lego, um, Lego. When me and my um, when me and my friends back in um, high school, like in grade twelve, if we were gonna, you know, we felt cool. So if we were gonna go out for one evening, we would all be chilling there, and then once everyone was ready, I'd be like, "Yo, yo, yo, Lego." And then we would leave. You get it? Lego. Let's go. Okay. That was terrible. Okay. So you should try that with some of your friends. Maybe they'll think you're super cool. They'll be like, whoa, bro. That was so cool what you just said. Like you can be like, hey, guys, Lego. And then you can be like, yo, yo, you see what I just did there, guys? Okay. No, don't do that. It would be terribly lame. And I'm feeling really awkward and lame right now. But let's carry on. So we've got Lego. Okay. So we've got these Lego blocks. Now... The equivalent of Lego blocks in chemistry or in real life would be atoms. So this is an atom, and this is a blue atom. You'll see where I'm going. At, you'll, you'll see where I'm going with this now. And this is a green atom. Okay, so in real life we use atoms. So did you know that if you look at your hand right now, your hand is made of Lego blocks? but it's the life Lego blocks called atoms. And it's thousands and millions and trillions and trillions and trillions of those little atoms that are all combined together to make you the person that you are. So the basic building block of everything around you, if you look at anything on your desk, if you look at the calculator, if you look at the everything, if you look at the books around you, they are built of atoms, but they are so small that there are billions and trillions and trillions of atoms that make up everything around us, okay? So it's all about atoms. So we know that atoms are the basic building blocks of everything that we have here on, on like in, 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 in existence. So you cannot break an atom down any smaller, just like you're not gonna take a Lego block and then be able to break that down any smaller, okay? That is the basic of the Lego, and these are the basics of all life, okay? Now, here we can say that we have, now you get different types of atoms, just like you get different Lego blocks. Here you can say we have a red Lego block. Here we can say we have a blue Lego block. And here we can say we have a green Lego block. So you see how we have different Lego blocks? Well, we get different types of atoms. And guess what? These are the different types of atoms that we get. So we can say that this is a hydrogen atom, for example, and so it would look like that. And then here you could say we have a, for example, you could say we have a nitrogen atom, nitrogen atom. And then here you can say uh, we maybe have a carbon atom, carbon atom. Okay, here you would call these different things, you would say that they are different colors, here we say that we have different elements, elements, okay? So these are called the elements, and that's why this is called the periodic table of elements. So remember, though, that the bigger, the, the, the basic thing, though, is still called an atom. So this is just a hydrogen atom, this is a nitrogen atom, and this is a carbon atom. But we get different types of atoms, and that's where it's called elements. So you get a hydrogen element, a nitrogen element, and a carbon element. But they're all atoms at the end of the day. Just like we can say we have a red Lego block, a blue Lego block, and a green Lego block. They're all Lego blocks, but it's the different types. Okay? I hope that makes sense so far. I think it would, because that's pretty easy to understand, right? I hope so. So, so far, you, you, you find up to all there. So, we know now what atoms are. And then the elements are just the different types that you get. Okay? They're just the different types that you get. But what's interesting about elements is 
that you could put a, you could put, for example, go connect another little Lego block here, or you could connect another little hydrogen to, together. And would you say that this is still hydrogen? Yes, it is. So this whole structure is still gonna be an element, and you could say that there are two atoms of air. So there's, this is still the hydrogen element. Even though there's more than one, this is still the, it's one type, so this would still be a hydrogen element, okay? So an element can have more than one atom, but it must be the same type of atom. It mustn't be different. Um, for it to be called an element, it can, so, so, so this is an element, but if I connect another one of the same type, then this, and this is still nitrogen, remember, then this is still called an element. But as soon as I connect a different type of substance, like let's say I put a hydrogen over here, then you cannot say that this is an element. This is not an element, okay? So an element must be the same type of Lego block or the same type of um, atom, for example. It can be by itself, like uh, this one, or it can have more than one. It could even have 500, it doesn't matter. So now you know what elements are, okay? I'm now gonna talk about molecules and we will come back to compounds. So what is a molecule? A molecule is whenever you have two or more atoms, okay? So is this a molecule? Yes, we've got two or more atoms. We've got two atoms over there. Is this a molecule? Yes, we've got two or more atoms. Is this a molecule? Let's have a look here. Um, if you put, let's say we put hydrogen and nitrogen, that is a molecule because we said a molecule has two or more atoms. They can be totally different elements or they can be the same, it doesn't matter. So, so now I'm gonna start using different ones. So you could have, for example, now I'm just gonna use like one color, okay, so don't get confused with that now. So H and Cl, is that a, is that a molecule? Yes, it's got two or more. What about, what about something like um, H, O, and H? Is that a molecule? Yes, we said that as long as it has two or more of these atoms, then it is a molecule. It doesn't matter if they are the same or different. So for example, uh, is this an at I mean, is this a molecule? Well, no, because it has to have two or more. What about this one, uh, N and another N? Is that a molecule? Yes, because we said it must have two or more. Uh, what about, what about H? And F, is that a molecule? Yes, because we said two or more. And then what about um, oxygen with another with a carbon and another oxygen? Is that a molecule? Yes, because it's two or more. So, so molecules must just have two or more atoms, okay? So molecule must have two or more atoms uh, connected, or let's say bonded together. They must be touching each other, they must be bonded together, right? So let me give you a little quiz just to make sure that you're understanding so far. So is this over here, could we call this an element? Yes, because they are touching, I should make them touch over there. They, this is an element because it's the same type, it's nitrogen and another nitrogen. So as long as it's the same type, we can call it an element. Is this an element? Yes, that's a carbon element. Um, is this an element? Let's do that. No, this is not an element. This is not an element. Because we said an element uh, must have the same type of, um, the, it must have the same element. And remember, these are the elements. But it can have more than one. So here we can have, so this is yes. This is an element. Yes, it is an element. It can have one, it can have two, it could have, let's say we have three oxygens connected. Is that an element? Yes, as long as it's the same element, as long as it's the same thing on the periodic table, then it is called an element. So yes, this is an element, okay? Now, is this a molecule? Is this a molecule? Well, we said that a molecule must have two or more atoms. Are there two or more atoms here? Yes, so this is a molecule, okay? Is this a, is this a molecule? Yes, it's got two or more, so that's a molecule. Is this a molecule? No, because it does not have two or more. So we'll say no over there. And then is this a molecule? Yes, because it has two or more. So let's just say molecule, yes. Okay, so we're gonna do another little quiz now. I'm gonna make like a nice table for you and then we'll go on to compounds. 
So here we go. Now here we're going to do three or no, four examples, sorry. And then I'll talk to you about compounds and then we'll be done. And compounds is really easy. And then we'll do like a little quiz at the end and then we'll really have a good idea of how all this stuff works. Okay. So the first one, is it an element? Well, remember, an element has to have the same type of element. Now this is not the same type of element. Here we have hydrogen. Here we have hydrogen, but then we have oxygen. So it's not the same element that they're using. So this is not an element. Is it a molecule? Well, a molecule must have two or more atoms. Here we have three, so it's definitely a molecule, yes. Okay, here we have, is this an element? Yes, we're just using one type of element, that's carbon. Is it a molecule? No, because a molecule must have two or more atoms. Here we have only nitrogen. So is that an element? Yes, because you're using the same type. So that's correct. It, they, they said an element must use the same um, element. And then here, is it a molecule? Yes, because a molecule must just have two or more atoms bonded together. And then here we have aluminium. Is that an element? Yes, because aluminium is something on the periodic table and we're only using one type, which is good. And then is it a molecule? No, because an, a molecule must have two or more. Okay, now we're going to start speaking about compounds, okay? So let me give you the definition of a compound. It's two or more. Now, now that sounds like molecule, doesn't it? But it must be two or more different elements bonded. Ah, so if I gave you, for example, this, two nitrogens bonded together, is that a molecule? Yes, we said a molecule is two or more. But is it a compound? Is this a compound? Well, let's see what it says. A compound is two or more different. These are not different. Those are both nitrogen. So is this a compound? No. Let's say about this one. Uh, let's do a hydrogen atom. Is that a compound? Is this a compound over here? No, because it says that a compound must be two or more different elements bonded together. So it's not it's not a compound. So we'll say here, no. What about um, this one? Okay, so is this a compound? Well, it says that it must be two or more. Okay, so we have got two or more different elements. Well, yes, we've got a different element. Look at that, we've got an oxygen and a hydrogen. So it's not only hydrogen, um, it's a hydrogen and oxygen. So the, yes, this is a compound. Let's do another example. Let's do um, carbon with oxygen. So is this a compound? Well, a compound must be two or more different elements. So these are different. Yes, that's perfect. Now we're gonna go do a little quiz. Um, so uh, yeah, so this one is a compound. Why? Because it's two or more um, and they are different. The ones are carbon, the ones are oxygen. So this is a compound. Now we're gonna go do a quiz and we're gonna go through everything that we've gone through in this lesson. And it's gonna be a nice little summary for you to make sure you understand all the differences. Here is our final example. So here's our first one, it says, it's just an atom of carbon. So is that an element? Now remember, an element it only has one type of element from the periodic table. So this is just using carbon. So is this an element? Yes. Is it a molecule? Well, a molecule has two or more atoms bonded together. This is only one atom, so that's not a molecule. And a compound is two or more different atoms. So different elements bonded together. So it's not a compound. Okay, let's start with this one. Is it an element? Well, it's got two nitrogens and an element says that it must only have one type of element from the periodic table. This is an element because it's only using nitrogen. Is it a molecule? Well, it has to be two or more atoms. So here we have two or more atoms. That's perfect. So it is a molecule. Is it a compound? Well, a compound is two or more different atoms or different elements. These are the same, so it's not a compound. Okay, what about this one over here? So is it an element? Well, an element only has one type of element. This one has hydrogen and oxygen, so it's not an element. Is it a molecule? Well, a molecule has two or more atoms bonded together. This one has more than two, or it has two or more, so it is. Is it a compound? Well, a compound has two or more different atoms. 
This is two or more, and they are different. They're not only one type, so it is a compound. And I know that that's a question that's been on your mind. Can something be a molecule and a compound? Yes, of course. Now, here we've got aluminium, or as the Americans would say, aluminum. Um, <laughs> so is it an element? Well, an element only has one type of element. Yes, that's just using aluminium. Is it a molecule? Well, a molecule has two or more atoms. This is only one atom. And then a compound has two or more, so it's not a compound. And so there we have it. I hope that from watching this, you now understand the differences or, of what elements mean, what is a molecule, what is an atom, what is a compound. I hope that that makes more sense.